Welcome to a gentle introduction to Bitsy. What exactly is Bitsy? Well, Bitsy can be found at bitsy.org, and it defines itself as a little engine for little games, worlds, and stories. We can get started making games, playing games, or learning more about it. In particular is this emphasis on little games, worlds, and stories. When we use Bitsy, we create games. These games are divided up into rooms. We can think of rooms as different spaces, but also logical organizations. Each room can have an avatar, tiles, sprites, and items. Let's define these last four things. An avatar is what's moved by the player. The player moves the avatar around within a room. They move the avatar on top of tiles, which are background or walls. They can interact with things called sprites. We might think of them as characters, but they could also be buttons Finally, we also have items. There might be cases where we want to pick up a key or interact with a certain number of things within a room, and that's where items come into play. So we have avatar, moved by the player, tiles, which can be the background or walls, sprites, which allow us multiple interactions, things like characters or buttons, and items, things we create and collect. All of these exist within rooms, and rooms exist within games. So as we use Bitsy, we use various tools within it. These are mapped to the concepts I just covered. By default, we can edit each room, paint the various things, the avatar, tiles, sprites, and items, pick colors, and finally download a playable file to share with others. We have, from left to right, the room tool, the paint tool, colors tool, and the download tool. And there are other tools available to us as well. Looking at this, though, starts to give us an insight into how Bitsy works. Remember, Bitsy is designed for little worlds and little stories. Among that emphasis on little worlds and stories are some rules. So as we use Bitsy, we can only use three colors at a time. The background color, the tile color, and the avatar color. Our rooms are also 16 by 16 blocks and our avatars are 8x8 eight eight blocks. Each avatar, tile, sprite, or item is one room block large. So let's go back to looking at the interface and how we use these tools and how the concepts are mapped back to them to gain a little more insight in about how these rules work. From left to right, we see the room of a 16x16 16 16 grid, and within it we see kind of two white things. We see an avatar and what is an example of a sprite. Moving into the middle with the paint tool, we see that avatar as an 8x8 eight eight grid. And we see it composed of two different colors. Moving over to the colors tool on the kind of middle right hand side, we see those three colors selected. The background color, tile color, and sprite color. So we use three colors to paint the various things, avatar, tile, sprites, and items, into rooms understanding that we operate within the rules of Bitsy. We have a 16 by 16 block room, we have 8 by 8 blocks avatar tile sprites and items, and we can only have three colors at a time. Finally, there's one more tool we can use over on the far right, and this is that we can download and upload games. The games we create within Bitsy, composed of rooms and this other concept I have covered, can be downloaded and uploaded as HTML. This means they can be easily played in a web browser or played on a tablet, a laptop, or desktop, and easily shared. They can also be downloaded, moved to another computer, and re-uploaded again. So Bitsy is a tool designed for little worlds, personal essays, personal stories. Not necessarily very large projects, especially with its rules, but for those who exceed within those rules, you can create some really amazing stories. Thanks for watching.